going on guys you're here with a crick and uh today the well i'm actually going to be showing you guys a little uh how to make your motion tracking look a little more nicer in adobe after effects uh, cs6 we're going to be adding shadows to your motion tracks so as you can see i already have mine tracked uh the text as i like it kind of set up looking nice um you can if you haven't if you don't know how to do this uh i actually have another video it's a flawless tutorial uh I haven't had anyone say it hasn't worked yet, so as of right now, as of making this video on September 27, 2012, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it's tracked and go, and uh, we're all set, so yeah, check out my channel, the link in the description to uh, that video. So anyways, um, what we're going to be doing is adding shadows, and I've seen some pretty complicated methods, and uh, this is about as simple as it can be, so right off the bat, all you're going to do is you're going to click the text layer, and you're going to hit Control c or Command if you're on Mac, and then you're going to hit control V and that will create your second text layer. I'm going to go back down to quarter and if I drag that off you will see I now have a duplicate of that text. So what we're going to do is we're going to click that on the colors, go down and drag it to black. Just hit OK. Now I'm just going to wait for this to buffer for a second. There we are. Now you're going to go to introduces two, which is our shadow. You can rename this if you want. We're just going to name it shadow. You don't have to do that. Um, a little drop down. You're going to go into geometry options as if you were to, like to edit the 3D uh, kind of structure of it. Bevel depth. That's. I don't think that matters if the extrusion depth is zero, but nonetheless, I always do that just to be sure. Zero, and then that'll create our 2D text right there for us. Perfect. Now this isn't very shadowish, so um, what we can do, and what I finally find generally works, is you're just going to go so on the same shadow layer, animate opacity, perfect. And we're just going to scroll down a bit, and we can just set the opacity here to maybe 40%. And we'll wait for that to buffer, and there we go. So it's a uh, it's a little less uh, you know kind of blatant. The other thing now is, obviously, we can't really do much with this as far as making it a shadow. So, um, this will work better, better generally for a uh, floating text, but, it, it, you know, it's the same type of principle for uh, stationary text. I mean, now all you have to do is, up here you'll have your rotation tool, where you can shortcut is W, I guess, but I don't really use shortcuts. <laughs> so, drag up, and... There you go. So now you can see as it's like that, you go back up to your, I don't know what you want to call it, selector tool, <laughs> maybe. And uh, you can just keep dragging it up. And then, yeah, as you can, this is, we're just going to have it sitting right along here. You look at the shadows, so the light on this map is coming from this general direction, so like coming downwards. So we're going to want this text, and you know, Pretty much at this point, there isn't anything else I can really show you. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, you know, you can kind of see in the background, that's really all it is. Uh, that's, you know, you just got to mess around with it, and you got to do what suits you. Um, the cinematic I'm using, I'm not going to release it as a practice, because this is part of uh, ZHC's montage. And, um, yeah, a little sneak peek for uh, all you Hawk fans out there, so... If you don't know who Hawk Clan is, we'll be linked in the description too. It's just part of the team I'm on for Call of Duty. The current time, so as you can see as well, it tracks with it. And it's, uh, well, does it track with it? Should track with it. Yeah, it definitely tracks with it. Okay. I was getting worried there for a second. I was like, what? What did I do? But yeah, there you are. So it's, that's uh, about as simple as it can get. So this will look a lot nicer in full. But uh, other than that, subscribe, uh, drop a like, you know, it takes a split second, but it, uh, you know, it's a lot of motivation, um, and please don't hesitate, if you have any questions, I will respond to every question personally, um, you know, if, just check the comments, oh, my fan, my fan needs to hop off, come on, yeah, my fan's gonna be loud right now, I apologize, so, anyways, um, I think that's that, that's, uh, that's pretty much all you need to do for shadows and 3D motion tracking, um, that's the simplest method, and it, as you can see, really effective. So, screw around with that, and I really hope that I helped you guys out here. So, there you go. That's what it'll look like after it's rendered out. It looks rather nice, except for the fact that the S kind of overlaps as well. But for the sake of this video, I think I'll live without it being exactly perfect. <laughs>
So yeah, there it is. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, peace out.